Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese Romland in the past week. This video is actually shot on a Thursday because on the Friday of this week, I'd actually be on a short trip traveling. So the news regarding this week's new development in Chinese Romland will be up to Thursday. If significant changes, epic things, or really important new dramas shows up before Saturday, I will type it out in text in the pinned comment under this video. As usual, let's first talk about dramas that have gone live. On the 12th, we had a contemporary drama going live on the web platform Youku. Nanfeng Zhi Wo Yi, South Wind Nose. This drama is led by Cheng Yi and Zhang Yuxi, and this is not the first time of them working together. Kind of ready for quite a while until finally, pretty much airdropped. This is 39 episodes contemporary drama that I haven't had time to check out yet. If it's worth watching though, I will make sure that I get to it somehow. On the 15th, technically for me tomorrow, but for you yesterday, a drama should have gone live on the web platform Tencent. And this is a pair of drama that I have been actually looking forward to quite a lot. Jiu Yi Ren, Faithful. It is led by Wu Qian, Li Jiahang as the two main leads. Then it features a lot of very well-known actors, such as Qiao Zhen Yu, who's been around for decades, and young actress I really like, Hu Yixuan. It is a revenge period drama, talking about a young girl who got wronged and died, and her best friend took about a decade time planning to eventually avenge for her. That type of period drama that um, seemingly really exciting. I love this type of story. If the script is good, all those lead actors are very good. They have other works they've done previously to prove that they're proper actors. So far on Tencent, it says it's a 25 episodes drama. Until it airs, we wouldn't find out exactly how many episodes it will have. One day after that, on Saturday the 16th, we should have a contemporary drama going live on Mango Television. Stand by me. Also a project I've talked about multiple times, led by Zhao Jinmai and Bai Yufan. Feeling very much like a collaboration after the success of Reset, since both actors are featured in that project. And this is a growing pain youth story. They have also released a new trailer this week, so the drama goes live on Saturday where we'll soon find out if it's a worth watching drama. For these two actors, Bai Yufan and Zhao Jinmai, I would consider them to be proper serious actors, although they're very young. Based on the trailer though, I have a strong sense that this is a filled with melodrama, youthful story. A lot of fights, a lot of conflicts, a lot of slap across your face and cry out loud type of thing going on, or at least they cut all that into the trailer. So that's the slight worry I have so far based on the trailer is I just hope it's not a filled with dog blood melodrama drama. Let's hope it turns out to be a good enough drama. Mango has put out quite a few very good contemporary dramas in the last couple of years and so fingers crossed it's gonna work out for this one. And then pretty much a couple of hours ago a new drama got confirmed will go live on CCTV following its previous drama's finishing airing slot on the 19th which would be Tuesday next week, and that would be the contemporary drama, Hao Shi Cheng Shuang. Good things happen in pair, that's the translation, but it doesn't have an official English title yet. Li Huang Xiaoming, Zhang Xiaofei, contemporary mid age people's midlife crisis, family, domestic drama. Initially, it was set to air early September following another drama, but it didn't happen, so now it's mid to late September, and finally, it's happening. Then, let's talk about a couple of other dramas at different stages of production. First, we have a drama wrapping during this week and that is the contemporary drama that will air on Mango Television once it's finished. 24 episodes, Metropolis setting romantic fantasy drama, Song Ran. I've talked about it once before. Does not have an English title yet, led by Guo Junchen and Liang Jie. Time travel parallel universe, if you still remember. So that drama has finished shooting and we probably will get to see it fastest end of this year, if not early next year. Then we have a drama that has gotten its license during this week and I haven't heard about this project before. It's a contemporary drama, 36 episodes called Ben Pao Ba Ji Jiu Yi Sheng and literally meaning wrong paramedics. And it's led by a quite good ensemble cast, including Tong Da Wei, Ren Su Xi. These two are very proper good actors, then Zhang Yuxi and Liu Yitong for the younger, more popular generation of actors. And it hasn't actually decided which platform it's gonna air on. Talking about licensing and dramas that can air anytime now, during this week, we've also heard the news that the second part of Chang Xiangsi, Lost You Forever, has gotten its license. So it will go on 
line safely, but it will happen towards the end of this year due to the at least three month time break rule we have right now. The second part is set to be 21 episodes. So for everybody who's watched the first season and really want to know what happens later, well, you will get to know it and <laughs> just stick with it till the end of this year. Now we have a couple of projects that are all in pre-production stage and they're likely to start shooting very soon this month, October, leading up to the end of this year. First, there's a contemporary drama that's based on <laughs> Jiu Yuexi's novel. The author who wrote the original novel of Huo that got um, in a very unfortunate way too hot during summer this year on Mango Television. So the same author's another book called Bai Se Ganlan Shu, White Olive Tree, is going to be turned into a television series as well. And it's pretty much confirmed the leads are going to be Liang Jie and Chen Zheyue. She is going to play a journalist and he is gonna play an expert in disposing explosives. It is not so different when you think about the character setup compared to Yuan Jian Yanhuo, heroic profession for the male lead. Also in that way, heroic profession for the female lead. And if this drama airs next summer, let's see if it's gonna repeat that fate or not. Also, we have a contemporary drama that is gonna start shooting soon, not yet known exactly when, and it's a Zheng Wu Yangguang production. A couple of months ago, I think I mentioned that Zheng Wu Yangguang has a list of dramas they are intending to make very soon, and this is one of those on the list called Fan Ren Ge, literally means the song for ordinary people. And this time, the director is gonna be Jian Chuan He. This director has directed very successful IP from this company, but also rather epic failing ones. For him, it's really uneven and unpredictable in terms of the next project, whether it's going to turn out to be a good or crappy one. As for the two leads, so far it's been talked about that it's going to be led by Ying Tao and Wang Xiao. At least in the acting department, I have nothing to worry. It totally depends on if the script is good enough and the direction makes sense. Let's just say like 70% good enough, then it will be a good enough drama. Since in my opinion, both Ying Tao and Wang Xiao are the top-notch actor, actress of their age range, pretty much applicable to any genre of dramas, any type of characters. Let's hope this director can put his best foot forward for this project. Then we have a period drama that is set to start shooting in October that will air eventually eventually on Youku, and it's called Du Huanian. English title right now on my drama list is The Grand Princess. Obviously, until it actually shows up, we will not know the final title. 90% confirmed leads would be Zhang Linghe and Zhao Jingman. Very interesting pairing, cannot quite gauge yet how it's gonna work out. I am following the current airing Zhang Linghe-led drama Yun Zhiyu pretty closely every day. After I've seen him in Cang Lan Jue last year as a male second and this year as a male lead in Yun Zhiyu, I do have a little bit worry in terms of if he leads a drama as the male lead, whether he's good enough as an actor to shoulder that. I think he worked out so far much better as the supporting role of a drama. And there are a lot of things he needs to sort out in his acting and everything, being the leading man. Not quite sure how that's gonna work out. If it's another standard period idol or fantasy drama, like most of the dramas he's done so far. Good luck to all those projects we've talked about. Some of them may happen soon, some may never happen, some may change the leads. And sometimes people actually get kicked out after they've started shooting. It has happened many times actually. These are the things I've collected about Chinese drama land up to Thursday. Like I said earlier, if there are more interesting news, I'll update it in text under the pinned comment. And I'm going on a short trip. I'll minimize its impact on my channel and then you're gonna start to see some never happened before videos on Avenue X. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.